miles. I tried to find that joke uh, when we were approaching Camborne last Saturday. I tried to find it um, to play it to Ethan so that he could understand the whole Train Don't Stop Camborne Wednesdays, but couldn't actually find it on the YouTubes. There was some clips that referred to it, but he never actually did it in the clip. I actually wore a tie. It, the first day I started at the job I'm in now, I wore a tie. Got to about an hour in, I took it off. And it was the last time I wore a tie. Actually... Mum's funeral. Yeah, three and a bit years ago. stayed up west and see there once that backed onto the railway line. I think I was camping. And you did sort of get used to the trains after a while, but they certainly woke me up early in the morning. And when back then I used to wake up with a hangover. It's not the most pleasant way of waking up a train rumbling past about ten feet from your head. Hales to Earth and Pentax. We're actually early again, so it's going to hold us again. last door. Hey, that's pretty good going then. You can live with that. And once again, it holds us this place. Why are we early? I don't like this.
70 limit. Go for it. Yeah, we're due at Halo at 8.55 and 15. Because all I've done is accelerate away from the station and we're going to arrive early. trains that run up and down here will never do 125 again. Just idling all their time pretty much. So this is you know about the eight hour point I was here. That's quite bendy. Right, sixty five limit. Go. And that was that. Off the power. There we go, back down to a 60 again. I'm quite impressed with St Earth, how uh, realistic it looked compared to uh, how we see it in trains in World War. It's been a long time since I've been down to St Earth in trains in Classic, so uh, they even had the, you know, the height difference between the platform going to St Ives and the main platform. You know, just a couple of steps down to get between the two.
definitely really, really messy. So hey, all we got. doors open. Oh yeah, one down there. It's like, are any of the doors actually opening here? Yeah, we arrived early again. Two stops to go. Nightbot didn't like that, Louie. Doesn't like more than four of anything. I don't know why I said it at four. But he doesn't like more than four of anything. Uh, right, St. Earth. Penultimate stop then. DIY warehouse. It was three too many. I got. Oh, now we get a 75 limit. We've only got a mile and a bit to go. Typical. We'll see what we can do. Uh, hi, Rich T. Yeah, it's not Irish voice, it's Irish writing. Not, not a fiddle dee dee in sight. Well, this rate we won't be. Runs off down there, just knives. Yeah, they haven't got the height difference in here. It's all one level. Boo hiss. 
the walkway looks is, looks right though. Bridge thing, thing near the bridge. Yes, I was there last Saturday. Oh, excellent, CM. Have you posted it in the Discord? Ethan needs to watch that to finally understand the train don't stop Campbell on Wednesdays. 150. It was close. Is it, you know, someone's nicked the 8, replaced it with an O. Right. Final stop then. Penzance. Well, it's the Cornish main line and the main line extension is the bit that allowed me to do Paddington to Penzance. All three bits of it stitched together. We've obviously already done Plymouth to Penzance. Final run. Rev it up. Can't go any faster. We're flat out. This is it. This is all it's got. Oh yeah, these things just coming to a platform, it was proper noisy. Oh, we're finally going to hit 75 for the first time on the whole trip down. We've been all the way to Plymouth. Uh, no, just in one journey today. It's been two hours. Wreckfest tonight in multiplayer. That was six, wasn't it? There's St. Michael's Mount over there. No, next trains is Tuesday. Trains in World 4, uh, Tuesday night on the East Coast Main Line.
Yes, along the coast we come. Yeah, hopefully when we get Train Team World 5, they add a lot more features in, a bit more layering. I hope we get some more ability to do timetable runs. You know, I'd like to see us be able to swap trains. Loads of them parked up there, look. The depot depot. We're going to get coming soon uh, to train symbol 4. Uh, we've got the um, new overground line in London. I do get attached to him, yeah. If you love something, you've got to let it go. Yeah, hopefully when we get Trainsy World 5, they have a lot more features in, a bit more layering. I hope we get some more ability to do timetable runs. You know, I'd like to see us be able to swap trains. Loads of them parked up there, look. In the depot depot. Don't forget, coming soon uh, to Train Sim World 4, uh, we've got the, um, the new overground line in London. I reckon we're going to see that in the next four weeks. I'll also bring it to you as early as I can. Uh, and soon after that, uh, it'll be the five circle line. Looking forward to that one. And if you're after any DLCs for Trains in World 4, Wait a couple of weeks. That's all I'm saying. It probably is just you, Ethan. Right, into Penzance. Yeah, we went on that uh, line a few or a couple of months ago when we did me and Ethan did a day in London, and uh, it's only about a 50-minute long route. I think the interesting end is obviously Barking Riverside because that's a really nice station. Um, but it's going to make different. A bit of London Overground action, don't mind that. But of the two, it's the Five Circle line I'm really looking forward to. Here we are, Penzance. And the platform we came in on. Oh, it's applied the bloody brake now, isn't it? God's sake, really?
down on platform two, did we? No, because there was two trains parked to the left of us. Oh, no, it was our train and then the HST. No, you are right. There we go. Now can we move? There we are. Yeah, we're doing Bristol next Saturday, doing the Wessex uh, Day Ranger. Which is brilliant value allows you to travel from swindon all the way around bristol uh down through westbury pusey um even down as far as weymouth so uh that's that's why i'm not here next saturday and then at easter uh doing the west midlands one so uh all around uh, birmingham including the um the little tiny shuttle thing I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to. Oh yeah, we, he, I think if I said to Ethan, we'll be on the 5 a.m. train next Saturday. If we won't be home till midnight. He'd be quite happy with that. He'd be awake at four, excited like a little Easter bunny. woof woof but bunnies don't go woof woof I don't know if you ever heard a bunny but it, they, don't, they don't bark generally uh, or squeak uh, morning you've caught us just as we're ending after a, a two hour trip from Plymouth to Penzance what noise do bunnies make? It's sort of a. Don't you make a, don't you make a lot of noise? They're not known for. What's up, duck? Bad luck. You did not complete the scenario successfully. Really? I think I did. What do you mean scenario incomplete? Sounds like Skippy. Timmy's falling down the well. Oh, that was a noise. Uh, pick up passengers at 12 out of 15 platforms. No. No. I, can, I stopped at all the stations. Stupid game. I've probably got some lines in this that I've never done either. I've got, got some new ones I've never actually done. So maybe we'll have to come back and do some more Train Sim Classic at some point. There we go then. Uh, we will end there. Why is that background noise quite quiet? There we go. Uh, more trains back on... Um, he says that's quiet. It's not. More trains back on Tuesday night with some Train Sim World 4 uh, doing the East Coast Main Line. Uh, next stream is in about four hours time uh back doing some multiplayer rec fest tomorrow lunchtime we got some multiplayer farming on uh farm sim tuesday then will be train sim world 4 wednesday is roblox uh doing the roller coaster thing in that uh thursday night will be farming next friday night is some uh forza horizon 5 uh not not, not here next saturday because out about on trains uh but then we're here on the sunday evening for more farming and then more stuff the week, the week after uh, so there we go. So thanks you lot in chat for keeping me company for the last two and a bit hours. Uh, that was certainly a chilled one. And to the people do things, yes they did. Uh, and to these people as well. So thanks to Jesper and Five Second Solver for following, and the moderation team for doing well nothing. 
really. I think one of them watched for a little bit. L Larwood probably did for about the first five minutes and then got bored. So, you know, cheers. Thanks. Appreciate support.